what's up you guys time is back another linton's video down here in new orleans uh enjoying a beautiful vacation a much needed vacation um again you know we are definitely getting close to 700 maybe we are actually there already um now you guys are gonna have to wait until i get back uh home to you know take part of this giveaway Again, we'll probably do another t-shirt, um, maybe another fragrance, um, then we'll go from there, okay? So, uh, you guys going to have to wait. I'm pretty sure we'll get to 700 sometime while I'm down here, probably in the next day or so. Uh, but then again, we will just have to wait at least about a few days. So, uh, with that being said, let's just get into the fragrance that I got today. I didn't want to leave you guys with no videos this week. You know, I know you guys are always back trying to learn about a new fragrance, so... You know, I don't take any days off. I go on vacation. I still do videos, okay? Uh, but with that being said, I got a fragrance that is a clone of Roja's Elysium, okay? Now, if you guys do not have that type of money, I don't. I mean, I have money to go on vacations, but I don't have money to spend $300 on one bottle of cologne. That is just absurd. I don't get how people can just spend that type of money on one thing. What if you don't like it? Then it's just a waste of $300, okay? So... Um, with that being said, Alexandria has their version of the OG, the Roja's Elysium, and that is this Zion. Take a look at that. Now, again, with these Alexandria bottles, you know, they got two different designs, actually, on the bottles. They got this one and a more modernized uh, bottle. This one kind of has like an old school look. It's got a wood cap on there. But, um, man, as far as this one, okay... I'm not sure how well the OG performs or the projection, sillage, or anything like that. However, this one, the only thing, the only downfall on this whole fragrance, to be honest, is the projection, the lack of projection, okay? Um, now, especially with this being a nice citrusy, sweet, kind of like you got a little bit of florals in here, you got a little bit of spices, some fresh herbs in here, okay? Um... The only thing is, this thing does not project as much as I would hope. Um, the performance is actually pretty decent. This is one of those fragrances, if you think about it, it's almost similar uh, as far as performance and projection to Dolce & Gabbana, the one, the EDP. An amazing scent. However, the projection, and most people think that performance is lacking. Um, me, personally, I think the performance... And longevity in uh, DG, the one, is actually pretty nice. It's The, the thing is, is that um, it's one of those fragrances that you will think is pretty much gone. And then throughout the day, you'll just keep getting little whiffs here and there of it. This is similar to that. You think it's gone, but then you, got it, you get a nice little breeze. And then that little blast of sweet orange comes along your way. These little spices kind of linger in the air. And then you get a whiff of it, okay? Now, again, it's not going to be a banger. It's not going to be loud. You're not, it's not going to be obnoxious, okay? So, um, if you want a, you know, pretty loud, you know, projection, you're probably going to have to spray heavy on this. Um, however, again, the performance for me, longevity, is easily above six plus hours, okay? So, you know, not sure if that's good for you guys or not, but uh, six plus hours, easily longevity. If you spray in the clothes, you're going to get a little bit longer of uh, some projection. I mean, some performance. Um, but you guys... The orange, it kind of has this like sweet, creamy orange, barbershoppy type of vibe, in my opinion. This stuff, I like this a lot. Even if you don't have the OG and you just want something this fresh, this orange, it's like citric. You got some juniper berries, you got some bergamot in here, you got lime, you got apple, you got vanilla. The vanilla does creep in a little bit later in the fragrance, which is very nice. Um, all those other things, it's hard to you know, find those things in this fragrance because you're so blown away by the orange. The citrus in this fragrance is very nice. It's a very nice citrusy, creamy, smooth, barbershoppy type fragrance, in my opinion, okay? Again, if you don't have OG type money like me, you go out there and get the next best thing, and this is one of them. Now, I'm not sure about the other clone houses. You know, you got your doers, you got your dappers and stuff like that. They make awesome fragrances as well. I'm pretty sure they have this exact clone as well. Um, so, this one, again, if you're looking for a beastie projection, you're not going to get it here. But if you want some long um, performance, longevity, you want a great, beautiful smell, this is going to be great for the spring, the summertime. 
uh, maybe the fall too if it's like kind of a kind of a like one of those warm fall days you're gonna be good with this one uh, you're not gonna want to go outdoors in the blistering cold with this one I don't think it's gonna really work that situation but if you are going outdoors and it's cold just kind of spray it before you go back indoors okay then you'll be all right but with that being said if I had to give this a ranking from one to ten, I'll give this about a seven and a half to eight, okay, between there, because again, the smell is just so nice. I wish the projection was a little bit louder. It's not. Um, however, this could be a nice cuddling fragrance. The wife you likes, you know, that orange, creamy kind of vanilla barbershoppy vibe type fragrances. So this is definitely a nice cuddling fragrance, or you can just kind of, you know, go out and about with your day, just like how we are. Gonna go, go look at some parks, sightseeing. This will be a nice fragrance for that occasion, okay? That being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this vacation. The wifey has been back there the whole time. If you didn't know, no, that was not one of those mannequins back there that's just been sitting back there. So she is back there. We are getting up out of here. We're going to enjoy this day. Hope you guys stay safe. Um, and hope you guys get vaccinated. So, you know, because obviously the country is probably not going to let everything open back up until they got like a, a a set number where they think everyone is vaccinated okay the sign we saw yesterday about the vaccination what was about it they so there was a uh the coffee shop that we went to pacinos if you guys ever hear in new orleans pacinos they said if you are vaccinated you do not have to wear the mask coming in so there you guys go that's one that's one business out of probably many that are saying that the same thing right now if you are vaccinated I'm pretty sure you got some kind of card or something like that on your phone that you can pull up. Yep. You can go without the mask. So I know people are like, man, I'm not getting that vaccination. But if you guys really want things to get back to normal, I'm pretty sure that is the way you're going to have to go about it. You're going to have to get that vaccination. Obviously, you watch the news every day. You see there's like millions more that just got vaccinated. Once that gets to about a 75, 80 percent, you know, rate, maybe we can maybe they will start opening things back up. You can take your mask off wherever you go. So. Again, go out there, get vaccinated if you get a call. I still haven't got mine. I'm out here anyways, but I think I, I think I got COVID probably when it first started. We just didn't know about it, so I think I'm probably out the woodworks, hopefully. But with that being said, we are going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope, 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 hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and by the way, if you like that t-shirt into the AM, that makes some damn good graphic t-shirts okay nice soft short sleeves but we'll get up out of here okay pace yeah